Hi, I'm Stephanie, and if you're watching this video, you're probably thinking about starting our walking program and like to know a little bit more of what type of shoes you should be buying. I'm going to explain a little bit, six different parts that I think is important in a shoe. And the first would be the heel counter. The heel counter is this area here in the back of the shoe. And you want to make sure that it's pretty stiff. It, you don't want it to move much because here's where your heel is going to sit. And if there's very much movement of your heel, you're going to end up with some Achilles tendon problems. So you want to make sure that your heel counter is pretty stiff. Then you want to make sure that you have some decent cushioning here where your ankles sit and your heel collar, we call this, so that there's no chafing and rubbing and uh, no blister creation. Then comes your upper. Your upper here ideally is more of a mesh uh, type of material that allows for more ventilation and so your feet don't get too sweaty inside your shoe. Then we look at the midsole. The midsole is through here. We want to have pretty much a uniform thickness through, through this midsole. And this material here helps for some impact, uh, shock absorption as you move through your heel to toe push off. Fifthly is your outsole. So your outsole is the area that contacts the ground when you're putting your foot down on the ground as you walk. And in my case, you could see my shoes are getting a little bit worn out. And a lot of my weight bearing, as your shoes get older, you'll see the, the tread part of your shoe be a little bit more worn. And then that's a, a sign that it's time for a new pair of shoes. But you can see here that I put a lot of weight on when I hit down uh, on the outside. And as I push off, here's where it's worn out. It's a little bit early and in, in front of my first toe. Ideally, you're pushing off pretty much like mid heel, little bit to the outside maybe, and then you push off your first toe, your weight should be coming off your first toe. So in my case here, uh, yep, time for a new pair of shoes and my pattern's not great as I'm wearing out my shoe a little bit more in the middle. And then lastly, and this is pretty important in a shoe, is your toe box. Your toe box here needs to be wide enough to make sure there's enough room for the four foot of your, of your, well, like four foot of your foot. Um, it needs to be wide enough for enough room for your uh, metatarsal arch, because if it's too tight, it's gonna squeeze together, and then you've got a chance of your toes crossing one over the other, and that can actually create uh, bunions over time. So I hope that's help, that helps, and you'll be able to um, go into your uh, favorite shoe store and have a pretty good idea of what you need.